everybody out there in coffee land. My name is Anthony Harding and I want to welcome you to the very first Traveling Coffee Guy video. Here is the my top five coffee shops in Seattle. I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> this video for almost an entire month running around Seattle going to my top five coffee shops that, that I love up there editing and remodeling this room now that was a lot of work it was something that I've never done before and of course yeah it's a little rough but it's cool man and I did it I, I really enjoy it and this is something else that I'm doing new so uh, Bear with me, I'm gonna get better with every video. Here's my top five coffee shops to visit while you're in Seattle. My name is Rick Friel. I work for Cafe Vita Coffee Roasting Company. I've worked here for 15 years, but really I've been involved since the beginning because I'm a great friend of the owner, Mike McConnell. Cafe Vita has a statement that says, where the coffee matters. We're an independent coffee company. We only focus on high quality coffee. We don't do blended drinks, foo-foo drinks. We don't follow trends. We're not doing the third wave. We have very limited syrups. We like to focus on the quality of the coffee. Our customers are people that aren't going to go to Starbucks. They aren't going to get a unicorn frappuccino. Our customers are people that really care about coffee, don't mind waiting in line. They understand they're coming for the experience of great coffee. We are one of the longest running independent coffee companies. We started in 1995 back when there was coffee carts in every corner and it was a whole different world basically. Uh, we have survived all the changes through Seattle, through the ups and downs of the economy, and we're still here and we're still going strong. So if you're in Seattle, come try some great coffee at Cafe Vita Coffee Roasting Company.
our brew method every month. Um, so right now we're featuring Dapper and Wise, and this is a recipe for Dapper and Wise. Um, they can choose V60, French press, um, we've done Chemex as before, this is a Kalita Wave. So the brew method and then actually the core pattern, uh, how quickly they want us to fill it up and in what way, um, is all determined by the roaster that we're featuring. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so this one's really easy. It's a pulse pour where we're doing about 50 grams uh, every uh, 30 sec or 15 seconds or so. So every 15 seconds I'm hitting it with another 50 grams of water um, after that initial bloom that I did in the beginning. Uh, so it makes it just really rhythmic and then it has a quicker drawdown time. Small little uh, wholesale craft roaster here in Seattle, focusing on uh, offices and subscriptions and, and cafe accounts. Um, we deliver all of our coffee locally by bicycle and really just have a good time connecting people, being a conduit for good coffee. So what do you do on your open house? Uh, our open house day is when we pretend we're a cafe. Um, because we're just a small little roastery, we're in here working a lot, as you can see, we're just in the middle of doing all this. Uh, so Tuesday's our day to be in brew mode and have a lot of fun making coffee and giving away coffee to the community. And uh, we have our sales on our whole, on our bag of coffee there. And, uh, yeah, they're good days. Really good time to come out. Yep. Yeah, Joseph and I co-host Coffee Lovers Radio. Which is an awesome and, uh, podcast. Which is fun. Yeah, and Joseph was on a recording last week, but on uh, another podcast called Coffee's Done. That's done by the uh, Angerhead Coffee Roasters. Those guys. Uh, yeah, they're good people. Well, great. Well, uh, thanks for your time. Yeah. Thank you.
hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment below. Uh, if you didn't, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think so I can get better. I would really appreciate the criticism. Go ahead and like it, subscribe, hit the bell so you can get the updates for my next videos. As always, sip exquisitely.